Now, what's it going to take for you to be able to receive full exposure and experience to what you've put into your vortex of creation? It's simple. You got to go in there where it all is. You got to go in there, vibrationally speaking, where you can see it, where it lights up for you. You've got to get on the same wavelength. You know from your own electrical experience and electronic experience and transmitting and broadcasting experience that you can't receive what's being broadcast if you put your dial on 6.30 a.m. and the transmitter tower is broadcasting from something different. You know you've got to dial in to the frequency. In a recent gathering, Jerry and Esther began and during the opening remarks, another voice from another room in another part of the convention center began speaking into their auditorium. <laughs> because their electronics were set to the same frequency. So when they began talking, you all heard them. And that's what we're talking about. You've got to set your frequency to the vortex frequency. And the vortex frequency is everything that you have evolved to. That's who you are. That's who you have become. And if you don't keep up with you, you're going to feel less good. So if you're in a state of fear, you're nowhere near your vortex. But the source energy that is you, who is in the vortex, still continues to call you. And as you hear the call, you may move up this emotional scale. Fear and disempowerment on one far end and love and joy and appreciation on the other. As you begin moving closer to your vortex, you'll move from despair and utter disempowerment into revenge, into rage and anger. You move right through into a little less anger until you're in overwhelmment and frustration. And if you keep moving, you'll bump right into the vibration that we describe with the emotional word hope. And when you are chronically hopeful, you're chronically on the verge of your vortex. And when you're chronically on the verge of your vortex, law of attraction will draw you in. And once you get drawn in, you'll have exposure to experiences that will help you to believe. In other words, from hope to belief is just one swirl of the vortex. In other words, in you are, and there you meet someone, there someone hands you the key, there you read something, there you come to know something. And if you hang around in the vortex on a pretty chronic regular basis, you'll thrive in ways that those outside the vortex will never understand. They'll call you lucky. They might even call you weird because it's weird for you to be joyful in these economic times. It's weird for you to be thriving. What are you up to? Are you dealing drugs, they say? <laughs> it's weird for you to be healthy in an environment where so many are sick. It's weird for you to be full of life. It's weird for you to be frisky in a depressed economy, you see. But from inside the vortex, you're looking at life, even your life here on planet Earth, through the eyes of source. You're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, in vibrational alignment with all that you have become. And that is the most important thing that we want to help you to understand. The emotions that you feel are your indicator of how much you are allowing yourself to be all that you've become. Or how much you are resisting or disallowing. Your emotions are giving you all of that. So as we're moving forward here today, it is our desire to accomplish a few things with you. We want you to get a whiff of our understanding of the existence of this vibrational reality. And we would like very much if this vibrational reality could become as important to you as it was before you came forth into your physical body. We want you to return to your knowledgeable memory of the whole being that you are. We want you to realize that when life causes you, when someone's rude, you want to be nicer. And the larger part of you becomes that. You become that evolved, expanded, more experienced liver of life through the living of life. So as life causes you to continue to expand... And you pay attention to the way you feel and most important, you care how you feel. Then what begins to happen is you begin to feel your way 
into the vortex you begin to feel you begin to return to this sense of worthiness that is natural to you to the sense of love love that is natural to you to the sense of thriving in all regards that is natural to you who you are is one who over not just this lifetime but all that you have lived you are one who loves and when you find something some aspect of your physical time space reality that is not lovable and you choose not to love you condemn or hate or push against that hatred you feel is your indication of discord because while you have free will to do it you are choosing a perspective that the larger part of you does not choose which means you've stepped out of the vortex now if your inner being if that God who is truly you would step out of the vortex with you and hate right along with you you wouldn't feel any discord because the discord you feel is your separation that's really too strong a word but you're pinching off of the fullness of who you are so we want you to understand that who you really are stands with us in your vortex of creation calling you incessantly home and we want you to know you don't have to croak to do it you can tune yourself bit by bit into vibrational alignment with all that you have become if you can think regardless of the condition a thought that puts you in the vortex the condition has to change and you know why because the condition only and ever and always is a vibrational indicator the conditions the reality whatever they are the money the relationships the bodily conditions every condition is a manifestational indicator of vibration and when you can disregard the reality when you can disregard those indicators by directing your thoughts to things that cause you to feel good by directing your thoughts to things that align you with the source that is really you by directing your thoughts to the whole of who you are to the solution rather than the problem to the answer rather than the question when you think regardless of the condition you're living unconditional love you go into the vortex and then oh then what happens is your condition has to change because remember it was an indicator of your vibration and when you're in the vortex your vibration matches your desire not what's gone wrong your vibration matches the solution no longer the problem your vibration matches the answer no longer the question you see how it works Esther had a sort of startling revelation not very long ago where she was grouchy about something that had happened and the more she thought about it the grouchier she was and then other thoughts off the subject but same sort of vibrational core began coming into her mind she began remembering everything like that that had ever happened to her so she was building a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger case about it and then it was like the whole world it was like a conspiracy to make her life miserable and it had all started with just one little thing that she sat and just mulled over mused over moaned over complained over for not that long so then she decided well if there's anyone on the planet who should clean up their act it ought to be me <laughs> so she isolated herself away from all of those who were glad to see her go she'd been riding around on her broom all morning <laughs> and she went to clear her mind to meditate to find relief from the self-imposed tension that had started with her knee-jerk reaction to an uncontrollable circumstance trying to control the uncontrollable It'll get you every time won't it so she sat to meditate and she reached for a thought that often gives her a feeling of ease and comfort right away she thought about ease and flow she just focused upon the words ease and flow but you got to understand she had a pretty good current going over here she'd been on it for a while quite a while well over an hour so her attempt to find ease and flow she held it for a moment and then right back there she'd go and then 
right in the middle of her meditation she would realize I'm complaining in the middle of meditation <laughs> what's up with that so then she reached back for ease and flow she reached back and just for a moment caught a little tail of it and then before she knew it she was complaining in her mind again so now she's extra mad at herself which always helps a great deal <laughs> so now she's thinking I certainly can find the thought of ease and flow and she thought about being out on the highways she loves that she loves getting behind the wheel of just about any vehicle they move around in a monster bus and she thought about the feeling of elation that she often feels as she moves down these wonderful highways with so much beauty surrounding her and she caught hold of the feeling of ease and flow and then she milked it she stayed there just a little bit and thought about why it feels so good and for a moment loved the landscape and loved the highways and loved her vehicle and loved her life and she managed she managed to focus enough that she found the dominant resonance with who she is and then an amazing thing happened while it had been hard for her to find it at first now an avalanche of pleasing wonderful thoughts began to flood her mind no effort at all in fact it would have been harder for her to get back where she started now that she had clicked in to the vibration of who she really is and then she sat with the most rapturous goosebumps moving through her body as she reunited and felt the relief of moving from outside the vortex in and then reveling in the raising and the raising and the raising of vibration and we said to her now that she was there and now that she could hear us we said Esther milk this practice this vibration of being in the vortex practice this vibration of being in the vortex make this your dominant vibration practice this vibration this is who you are this is how you are to feel this is who you be this is home for you this is life for you this is where you belong and she sat there radiant glowing to the universe and then we said now reach back to that problem and bring it in here with you and have a look at it from in here and Esther said don't make me do it <laughs> the bliss inside the vortex is so sublime won't I run the risk of the vortex spitting me out we said of course you run the risk of the vortex spitting you out but so what you know how to get back in you got to be out there where things are happening in order to know what you want of course there's no risk just bring it in and have a look at it so she brought it in thought about it chewed on it for a minute the vortex spit her right out it was still in that raw and ragged place and her attention to it caused her to not be able to stay in alignment with who she was but the next time still sitting there that she went to get in the vortex she went right in in other words she just ignored it for a moment thought about ease and flow remembered how good she'd been feeling just a moment ago went right back in and we said now go get it again so Esther brought the subject into her mind but it had shifted she began to feel different we said Esther make peace with the rascals make peace with the problems because the whole time they're coming into focus the solution is too you can't be all that you feel over here in this wondrous vortex of creation if it weren't for the other side of that giving you reason to bring that into focus are you getting this do you see how the life you live brings your expansion into focus and the only reason when we say are you appreciating the contrast of your time in place that any of you would say no not really is when you're standing outside the vortex we're eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you it is our desire to convey to you the value of who you are we want to lure you into the vortex <laughs> there is nothing that is off limits anything that you want to talk about we are eager to address with you 
you will notice a perfect unfolding here today because after all this gathering has vibrationally already assembled in this vortex of creation before you dragged your physical bodies into this theater